Hi guys, welcome back to Chavi Place. So today on the deck sharing day, we are going to share with you an Elan Marowak deck. So this Elan Marowak came out during Unified Minds and the first attack was actually quite gimmicky and seems quite interesting. So what does it do? Spirit Smash doesn't require any energy. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. If the card you discarded is a Pokemon, this attack does damage equal to that Pokemon's HP to your opponent's active Pokemon. So why is this card good, right? That means if your opponent is playing a certain tag team GX, let's say the opponent is playing Reshiram Charizard tag team, and then we will try to get your opponent's top deck to be another Reshiram Charizard, and can we can one hit the Reshiram Charizard because obviously they have the same HP. And yeah, you can one hit almost all opponent's Pokemon because definitely they run more than one copy of it, isn't it? Then at the same time, you can actually disturb your opponent's deck as well because you actually will discard your opponent's Pokemon. So you prevent your opponents to uh to extend the game very long because we're going to discard a lot of their Pokemon anyway. And the other good thing is you don't need an energy to do this attack. So we'll try to use up this new gimmick. Uh, I tried a few times against a non GX. It's not very good, but why not? It's still a very interesting deck to play with. So another Pokemon that we'll be playing here are mostly. It's not all mostly. They are actually all Alolan Pokemon. Why so? Because I'm actually also playing another Alolan Amarok. Which this one limbo eh the limbo limbo is to uh search two basic energy cards and a bit of energy acceleration. But the second attack, Alolan Club, this attack does 20 damage for each your Pokemon in play that has Alolan in its name. So this is just an extra attack in case that you run out of ways to make sure that your opponent's top card is a Pokemon, then you can go for this option instead and use that attack. The problem is Cubone, there's no Alolan Cubone. So if you put down the Cubone, the Alolan Club attack might not be, might not hit very hard. So another one that we have is Alolan Meowth. Also quite strong. If you go second, this attack does 60 more damage. So you do 70 damage on the first turn without any energy also. This is to beat down those basic Pokemon in case that we start second. Also again because Alolan is named. And we actually run Ellen Valpix and Ellen Ellen Nine Tails. We are going to focus a bit on disrupting the opponent. That's why we run this Ellen Nine Tails. So if you know, prevent all attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's GX and EX Pokemon. So it's just to defend from GX and EX. And the second Ellen Nine Tails. You remember this Ellen Nine Tails GX evolves it. Then you can find your deck for two item cards. So this is also just another extra support to get the cards that you need to do your combo. Okay, so what trainer cards you use to make this Alolan Marowak works, right? You need something to make sure that opponent's top deck is a Pokemon card. So here we are going to run two specific cards, which is Chip Chip Ice Eggs. If you don't know about it, look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and choose one of them. So the others are shuffled into their, back, their deck. And the card that you choose will be put on top of their deck. The problem with this is there are only three cards, so you need to hope that the top three cards actually contains a Pokemon. It's not as reliable, but a cheap option to actually try to make the Alolan Marowak works. So the second one here we will be using Hiker. We won't be using Hiker as much because it's a supporter and you can only use one per turn. So what does it do? Look at the top 5 cards of either player's deck and choose one of them. The player shuffles the other cards back into their deck and put the card you chose on top of that deck. So in case we are stuck, we can actually use this also to, ch to choose what card we want to draw next. So it's just, it's like a cheap, no, a cheaper version of Makago. Otherwise, you can use this to look at the top 5 cards of your opponent's deck and try to find a Pokemon as well. So... That's more or less what we have to try to make the Adelan Marowak works. Then the other cards, of course, are the usual thing. Acrobite, Cherish Ball, Find Your Adelan Nine Tails, Pokegear, Pokemon Communication, Reset Stamp, Wondrous Labyrinth. Because as I mentioned, this is meant to disturb your opponent a bit. And anyway, since your attack 
is nothing, right? You don't need any energy. So you can still use Wondrous Labyrinth and get one energy to put in your Elder Marrow. I don't think there'll be a, a problem. So Cynthia, Green's Exploration. Green's Exploration is just to get your Marowak out before your Elden Nine Tails are out. Spell tag for extra damage because in case you cannot do extra damage, so we can put a spell text on our psychic type Elden Marowak. Then you turn bot and fairy energy because they don't need energy except for the Elden Nine Tails. So once in a while, we might need to keep with the Elden Nine Tails. So that's actually more or less about this deck. Without further ado, let's see how it works. Okay, as I mentioned, I tried this deck, but I have been going against non GX deck, and against non GX decks is just a slow deck. I guess they're just too much gimmick, and the damage itself is not there. So yeah, then the other problem is we have no way to find our Elodin Marowak because there's no Ultra Ball and there's no Nest Ball find our Cubone. So we really need to hope that we can get like Pokemon communications and stuff. Okay, I wonder what the opponent is playing. I think that this deck should work well against Dark Box. It's a one playing Dark Box. Okay, I'll put the Cubone in front. I should have put the Falpix in front actually. Yeah, the opponent is playing Dark Box. So... I don't think he can attack next turn. Because he has no way of accelerating to 3, right? Okay, he has a way to accelerate into 3, but I think that'll be very hard, so... Kill by Lily, since we have Cynthia and Queen. Put the U-turn bot here. I'm going to put Wondrous Labyrinth here to disturb him immediately. But actually, I'm scared I won't be getting any energy cards also. So let's do Acrobite one more time. Green and energy. Okay, so you got the energy. Okay, I won't put that first. I'll put one energy here just in case and go for. Should I go for Cynthia? I think in this case I'll go for Cynthia then. Yep, we actually get quite good. I don't think we even need to growl, so we just need to hope that our Cubone is not dead. If he got his Weaver and yeah, an energy, he can actually kill us, but okay, I guess our opponent's hand is not that good. Okay, we got green for next turn. So we can hike and hope we hit opponent's tag team. Ah, nothing there, so very sad, but I'm actually going to drop his Cynthia because why not? I think the opponent is a bit stuck, so I guess we'll just see how it goes. It's very sad that we didn't manage to hit any... Yeah, and since we are weak to dark, we're just going to be dead. 
dead next turn. Well, it'll be very good if we actually manage to hit the previous turn. But I guess it's like that. Okay, so I really need to try to get the Elden Nine Tails. So Okay, wait, I'll get a Pokemon communication to get my wait, I need to check whether I have my small nine tails or not. Yeah, I have her, so and the other thing that I really need to get is It's a bit draw, so let's just get Cynthia for the next turn. I really need a Q-bone this turn. Okay, just drop everything. Okay, I hope at least we can buy sometimes. Actually, we can't. I think we can. Never mind. Okay. Uh, done. Is he going to GX me? Funny thing, I actually still have my one trust Labyrinth up and I'm not sure why is he not setting up his Naganadel. So we are obviously going for Cynthia here, hoping to get to set up Q-Bones. No, let me set up my Q-Bones. Okay, Q-Bones, get on communication. Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course I don't want to reset Sam here. I'll put this down in case we have another Q-Bone. We don't need to play anything else yet, so let's click done. Okay, now we are in a bit of a problem. Yeah, our hand is actually not as consistent. We cannot really lose our Pokemon very fast, but that's most probably what happens most of the time. At this point, Wanjo's Labyrinth doesn't really matter because he has so many... Yeah, anyway, he changed it. So, Black Market, of course. really going to GX me, is it? Can I draw an energy? But honestly, I don't need to do anything. There's nothing in my hand anyway. So, I guess he does that to buy one more turn. And yeah, his hands are just very consistent. Maybe I should consider playing more Cynthia. he's doing he's actually wasting <laughs> I feel that he's wasting my time here moving the energies here and there I mean if he's not going to attack then why would he do that for okay we got a lot of cards that I think we are just going to use uh, okay I'm just going to reset stamp here I want to use as many cards as possible Going to chip chip ice eggs. 
Uh, yeah. Lily, give me an energy at least. No? I thought I run a lot of energy. I can't even use green because my nine tails is out. Put down the spell tag and what to do? Yeah, I think I really should run more Cynthia. I'm still wondering why does he not retreat? I get that is if he has three price cards, right? Yeah. He's technically buying me a lot of times and I haven't even gotten my energy, so not sure what both of us are doing at this point of time. You know I run eight copies of energy, I didn't even get it. And also at this point of time, I don't even know if he actually has any... Any, you know, Pokemon left in his deck. You really need to run more. Say goodbye to Meows. I just want to do one attack. One big attack with Ellen now, right? Then maybe I concede this game because it's very unlikely that we can win. If you want to win, I need to set up at least my second. My second Ellen Nine Tails. Yeah, I feel that he's wasting my time. I'm wasting my time. Okay, take out the okay no cost. Take this up. Have you turn bot anyway? And of course the hiker. No? Does he not run any more Pokemon? Fine. I'll drop his. Actually, I need a Brilliant Forest instead. I'll drop his Lily. Nah, I'll drop his Cherish Ball. No, I'm not even dropping, I'm conceding actually. That's enough for this game. So, yeah, I really need more draw supporters. So. Okay, let's just add more draw supporters in the deck. I know I need to remove Okay Just ignore this part a bit I will run for For Cynthia and two of the U-turn bot instead Okay, so let's try this deck one more time I mean, again, also don't expect this deck to work very well, honestly. It's not good against non-GX, it's just not consistent enough to last until... You know, until the end game, if you prolong the game so much. But, it's a new gimmick, that's why I'm quite interested to try this deck. Anyway, if the deck actually works, right, you can disturb your opponents quite a bit. That's why I need to make this worse at least once. Okay, the opponent is a grass type, is it? Okay, that's something. Now that we suddenly 
draw a lot of energy. Keldio! Yep, don't think he can kill us next turn, so... I guess I'm just going to growl. Never mind, he can actually do that, of course, if we get Naganadal and Quagsire the next turn. Very big Lily, that was very good. Why is it now that they draw all of our energies? Things are weird sometimes. Okay, I'm going to Pokecon one of our Ellen Marek for another Cubone just in case. Because our focus is really to make this work. Okay, we got green. Uh, we'll kill the Poke one or the other Pokejay because there's no point and I'll just growl now. Yeah, we got his Quagsire and he managed to drop one his water energy. He can actually kill the Cubone in front. Which is not very good. Yeah, he got it. Now he just need to drop one water energy. Why? Oh, okay, because he wants to drop his water energy, of course. Yeah. We have been meeting a very fast decks, and you know what? At this point of time, I'm not sure if the opponent actually still have other Pokemon in the deck. What other Pokemon does he actually run? I'm not sure. So, okay, let's just Pokejo first. I was about to say, you know what, if we get a hiker, we'll just go for the hiker and see if we can actually pull out the combo at last. Okay, there's not, there's not even a point in taking the other nine tails because he's going to... He's going to take out his Nagadada and Quagsire to attack, yeah. I'm sure I should get a big Ellen Nine Tails. Or should I still go for the Cubone? Uh, I should be going for the Cubone. Hoping for the best now. What? Okay. Oh, we are missing 10 damage. That is very sad. But. Oh, this surprisingly works. It's just we are missing 10 damage. Because it's the Din Day. So I uh, really need to get a spell tag for next turn. And I don't think a Kaleo can hit us in, kill us in one turn, right? Actually, yeah. So I'll get a spell tag and maybe a Cynthia. Is he going to kill my Cubone? And then he can kill my Marowak with one hit next turn. Oh, well, it's like that. 
Yeah, I really don't expect anything against more consistent decks. I just want to do the gimmicks, you know. Let's see. And then we need another Pokemon, so I guess I'll go for Acrobite, just hope for the best. Crow biking and hope for the best. Oh, we actually, we actually draw a ball fix. Okay, let's see if we can still find a Pokemon. Wow, whoa, okay. That is very funny. Did I expect that to happen? I thought he would have no more, you know, no more Pokemon cards. But he still managed to find his Dedenne and Kaldio GX. Sadly, the first time round, we actually hit the Dedenne GX, so we are missing ten damage to kill his Kaldio. Yeah, now I really want my big other nine tails. If we can get it, I think we can actually survive because we should be able to kill this one. Yep, we need our big nine tails. Of course not. Yeah, I should just roll him for fun. Skip Ice Age for a custom catcher that's useless at this point of time. Actually, Frigian Forest is more useless. But everything can attack. So, yeah. It's funny that you actually somehow we actually <laughs> somehow managed to hit twice, but still not enough, I guess. Like I said it's just a gimmick. It's just a gimmick I want to try. Uh, if you want to play this day on standard, right? Honestly, it's just not recommended. I mean, a lot of decks nowadays don't actually run so many Pokemon. So what I'm actually targeting is really something like, you know Reshiram and Charizard, then you take out the Reshiram and Charizard, then we actually manage to hit the Reshiram and Charizard so he has, he won't have a lot of Pokemon left to use and we kill one of his main attacker. That's what I'm hoping to happen. But of course, it doesn't work as well in, in real match. Okay. Uh, let's see, we can have one more match and see how it goes. Okay, the opponent now is an electric and fire type. So, is it a Picaro Machine Charizard deck? Hmm, looking at it, it might be. Okay, can you let me do my, my rack thing? Just let Aaron Marek has a bit of spotlight, can't you? Okay, this is not an issue. Ooh, actually a bit of an issue. I might need to chop a lot of my cheap cheap ice eggs because of that. Do I mulligan a lot? I thought I'd run quite a bit. For Valpix, of course. Uh, since I use Lee, Lee, I'm actually going to drop a lot of my stuff. Bokijia for actually don't want. Let me use a very big Lee. Lee. Actually, no, Bokijia for Cynthia for Wellington. I'll reset stamp first. Yeah, so it's a Reshizat. Okay, I um, really hope that we can do this. Uh, Chip Chip Ice Eggs. I don't know, disturb him a bit. Hmm, do I want to let him get his nine tails? Nah, let him get his fire energy. 
I believe he has more than enough fire energy every turn. Okay, we got a Pokemon communication. So we will go for the Cubone. Put the spell tag in there. Actually, no need, but why not? And that's done for this turn. If he goes second, actually, we can even use raw, you know. That'll be very funny. We raw the thing out. Actually, I might be using raw next time. <laughs> so I'll be using raw, take his Reshisat out. Then, following turn, maybe hope that we can get a Reshisat on his top deck. Oh, never mind. He does it. He does it. By himself. Uh, as I expected, the opponent is not running out of fire energy. So he dropped one of his custom catcher. And tech coach. Okay, of course, welder. Oh, now I really, really want to hit the Reshizat. Really, really trying to hit. Ah, 30 damage. Okay. Okay, so we got a few chance here. Okay, let's chip chip I6 first, see if we actually get it. Nope, of course not. Uh, I'll, give you I'll give you another fire energy. For now. And we can get another chip chip I6 or even a hiker. Because that's the only thing I want to do. Okay, we actually got another cheap cheap ice eggs. This is our third one already, but... Oh no! Now I realize we actually know what the opponents are. <laughs> the opponents. What was I saying? There's a fire energy and yeah, I think I won't do that, so... Let's put this here. I kind of regret putting the fairy energy there because we didn't get. But maybe we can start attacking with big and little nine tails. Should I? Then I cannot green next turn. Tough decision, but. Okay, you know what? I'm going to retreat and raw instead. Yeah, because why not? The only thing I want to do is to kill one of his Reshizat with Elulin Marag. That's the only thing that I want to see happening in this turn, and of course, he took out his. I think he's quite stuck. Oh, oh, of course, because I chip chip ice eggs, ice eggs him like twice. So. I know his top deck. Do I really want to go for a reset stand and chip chip ice eggs? I'm very tempted, but since he's stuck, right, I actually. But oh, we need a U-turn bot, okay. I'm actually just going to go for, I guess, a more serious play. I'm going to get... Pokecom. And... Another U-turn bot. Yeah. Okay, now I need to check whether we have other GX, yeah. Okay, so we use the Cherish Ball. Pokecom for the small one. Okay, we haven't managed to do it but we actually survive until here. Because of the cheap cheap ice eggs. I'm actually 
actually very tempted to just use a cheap cheap ice egg every game <laughs> since he's stuck anyway. Okay, if you remember, it was a fire energy, a fire crystal, and a welder. So, uh, cheap cheap ice eggs, you. Wait, it's different. Did he use anything just now? If I use Pokecom, then he's just going to take out nine tails or something, but. Okay, then green after that is useless. So, I'll just take out his Pokecom. I don't need to Cynthia or anything since he looks stuck. I am stuck. I am stuck. And I have 30 damage on me. And he's. He's really trying to attack with both picks, right? What? I guess he is stuck. <laughs> I am stuck. <laughs> That's because of a very funny match. I don't even know why. Ah, oh, I see. So the Chip Chip Ice Eggs. I thought the Chip Chip Ice Egg works right. You look at the top 3 cards and the rest of the 2 cards you just shuffle between the 2. So now if I understand it correctly, you will shuffle everything back into the deck. But wait! He got Cynthia. Okay, I don't get it. Let's read it. The other cards back into their deck. Yeah, so I guess it works right. You actually need to shuffle everything back. Man, it was lucky that it was actually... Yeah, maybe it was lucky that... Just now, he draw a Cynthia. So... Yeah. Very likely that he will try to retreat, of course. I don't run custom catcher in this deck. Cherish ball! Ooh, I can get two items. But what? Uh, I'm just going to do it since I cannot use. Cheap cheap I say. I was saying, oh, of course, Pokijia. Let me. Let me. Let me do twice the chance. Give me a Cynthia or Lily. Green is useless at this point of time. Cynthia, Lily, yes. Uh, I will go for. I'll go for Cynthia. Okay, we got a hiker. But the hiker cannot use this turn anyway. I'll just take the other Marowak since green is. Not very useful at this point of time. Then we can set up our second Elemera. And since we have two hikers more or less ready, I hope we can actually do this combo. And of course, Pokijia, in case that we need something else. Alright. I'm not sure if the chip chip ice eggs actually affects them a lot, you know. But we actually managed to disturb them for quite a bit, I would say. I don't think the bikini can kill, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she draw a lady. Uh, okay, I'll book you later. I'll wish. Wait! No, I want energy. Okay, so I'll just lily. Okay, of course, I draw an energy. I draw Wondrous Labyrinth. Not sure if it's a good idea to put Wondrous Labyrinth in my Elemera cannot attack suddenly, so. And he has more than enough fire energy, I will say. What do I want to attack that with? I want to attack with this. Of 
because he needs at least two fire energies, right? Okay, no, he only needs one fire energy in the discard pile. And he has none. Can he drop one? Is his deck really that stuck? I'm not really sure what's happening to the opponent, but he's stuck. Very badly. Even more than us. And the funny thing is we actually managed to pull a decent game because of that. I don't want to Cynthia. Can you give me a Lily? Ah, green. Okay, I don't want actually. But oh, fine. Oh, I really want to pull out the high cut thing, but you know, like... There's no point doing it now, you know. I think I'll go for Cynthia. I don't need the other spell tag, actually I might need it. Do I just go for Cynthia? Because I want energy. Nope, I didn't draw an energy. Okay, Acrobite, give me energy. No? Okay, give me the spell tag then. Okay, just attack. Energy? Green, no. I think... Put the cards you chose. Shuffle the rest. Yeah, so I guess I've been misunderstanding the Chip Chip I says in the high curse effect. So the rest of the card should be back. Uh, there's not much point reset stamping me, but okay, I got the energy. That's good. I don't really want to use the Echo at this point of time. Okay, he'll get his nine tails, and can he kill or the nine tails? No, I want to have a one big hit on that where she zats at the back, you know? Wait, I thought he used Pokecom. Okay, he Pokecom is where she zats back. We got a chance! I don't know why I'm very happy about this. I really, really want to kill that Reshiram Charizard with the uh, Ellen Marek. Let me do it. And he's thinning his deck like mad. So... Yeah, chance. Yeah, he's going to use his nine tails to kill our... Our Ellen nine tails because... Oh no, he keeps drawing. But yeah, our big other nine tails can revenge kill. No? Oh. Why? I actually don't get it. Why? He should be killing this thing. This thing means uh, this other nine tails because he can't kill it. Um, just going to use Pokijia to see what I have left. Chip Chip Ice Ace, Wondrous Labyrinth, Hiker. Let me just take the other Hiker. But I really just want a very big hit. Oh, that Regisat. Okay, here's to hoping we can get our big hit. Sadly, we still need to kill this L9 Tails. We have no way to remove it from play. And yeah, most probably our one last prize card. That's the one that we are going to try with the L11 Marat. We got two. We got two try. 
We got two hiker. Uh, does he drop his Reshizat? He drops. Okay, that's a Reshizat that dies. So I believe he should have either one more. Uh, or nothing. No, he's going to draw more. Ah, uh, I need to get my wondrous labyrinth. But I think how many energies I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I should have just enough energy. Yeah, that's the correct play. At last. But no, that's not the point. <laughs> that's not what I want to see. Uh, I need to get my wondrous labyrinth because before he did not so much. So let's just try for an acro bike here. Wondrous labyrinth, yes. Oh no, I don't want to draw my chip chip eyes. Ace. Oh, wondrous labyrinth is important. I don't want him to drop to draw his rashes out. Uh. Okay, draw me a fairy for energy, please. Yes, okay, so we are quite safe now. We have the chance! Okay, so you just need to hope that Reshizot is actually still in his deck. No! Alright, so... Well... What to do now? We can't even attack using this melon Marowak. And no, I don't think so. I think he draw his last Reshizat already. So that's set, but let's just try it. Yeah. I mean, you know, we can still like try to make the opponent run off. But. So, Green's Exploration, there's no point in dropping that. I wanna drop a custom catcher. Since there's no more Reshizat, so. Yeah, I'm just going to drop. Ah, yeah. I'm just going to drop his cards. Actually winning. Is there any way for him to return his cards to his deck? I guess now we'll see. I only have two more cards left. Alright, so that's it for the game. We actually win. Still very sad. <laughs> we did actually manage to kill his trashies up with Adeline Marowak. In the end, we just disturbed him in another 9 tails all the times. But that was still a very funny match. So I can't even spirit smash anymore. Yeah, I'm done. Oh. Can I spirit smash him? Uh, spirit smash. Nothing. And yeah. Good game. Very interesting. Alright. So. That's all for today. I mean, as you can see, it's just a gimmick. It's not really reliable. I guess I feel that the opponent actually knows about the element map right at the back that I was saving. So he was quite scared that I was able to do that combo ideally. So he will really try to draw a lot to get his Reshizat out before it's too late. Yeah, so just another gimmick. 
just another disruption deck that I want to try and that's it for today thank you guys for watching and see you guys again next time bye bye